Well, I guess that's one Disney landmark that's going to be gone for good. Look at that. You know, did we ever run by that in a, in a race, in a Disney race? Often. Well, that's going bye-bye. Often. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe they're taken away. It's funny because they did try to fix it a couple of times and it never really stuck. Right. Stuck being the key word, the little, like, drop tower car was like, it tried. <laughs> you could it's hear it. Tried its best. <laughs> you could hear it going back and forth. Yes, you often ran down from Osceola Parkway down here, right past that, for sure. I remember we'd go, you go the other way though, like you'd be coming this way, right? Right. Yeah, you'd be coming mm -hmm. back towards it the other way. Mm -hmm. Oh, heading to Hollywood Studios. It's been a little bit since we've been to Hollywood Studios. You know what I think would be a fun run Disney race? It'd be like a Skyliner 5 Mile. Skyliner 5 Miler. Skyliner 5 Miler. Miler. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you could run like the length of this. I don't know. <laughs> I think in concept, it's good if it wasn't going over these like little rivers and <laughs> all of the stones that are, they have underneath the length of it. It'd be a trail run. There you go. Like off the Skyliner trail run. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Maybe it's more of a off-road running off -road. experience run at your own risk isn't all run disney run at your own risk no <laughs> see you know what's really great about coming to hollywood studios at 5 30 or almost six o'clock in the evening is that um you can park really close up like we're probably gonna park in like the first or second row right yeah yeah we'll probably park because we right figured out front. that Hollywood Studios is kind of a morning park. Now, with Rise of Resistance, if people don't get their Rise of Resistance virtual queues and lightning lanes, they kind of clear out after like 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock sometimes. Kind of yes, nice. Yes, definitely. Kristen, you know what this reminds me of? What? That one time we did our um, Rise and Resist 5K here. That was a very long time ago. Remember that? And a very different uh rise of the resistance experience today that was a fun day though that was a fun day remember we got here as soon as the parking lot opened and then we ran a 5k it was uh, like five in the morning with enough time to go get our um boarding groups when that was when you had to be inside the park right um when you had that idea i wasn't exactly thrilled at the time <laughs> but because we had to get up like extra extra early but it was a great idea right and we had fun it, i did have a lot of fun <gasps> oh she fell asleep on the rock oh there you are you're <laughs> awake <laughs> you're just goofing look at the little feet moving <laughs> I don't think she's asleep. So after I stopped rolling on the video of the sign being taken down, Kristen said, maybe that's indicative of the Tower of Terror going bye-bye. Maybe. Nah. I doubt it. No. no. This is the original. This is the, this is the original Tower of Terror here. They wouldn't get rid of it, right? Probably not. When do you think the last time we actually went for a run here on the boardwalk was? The day that the pandemic shut everything down. We haven't been back since then to run here? No. Um, so we haven't been running here in two years? Probably not because I know we come over here and we've done, we've kind of taken a walk and some date nights, but because we used to park over by the golf course, the mini golf. And I used to try and outrun these friendship boats. <laughs> I got news for you, they look slow, but they're not. No, they're pretty fast, actually. I mean, they're about eight, eight or nine miles an hour. So I think if you could run eight or nine miles an hour, you could beat it, but right. it's pretty fast. Well, I feel kind of like this is where it all started for us. Here at the boardwalk? Yes, I completely agree, at least for me. 
running, getting ready for Run Disney races. Man, we used to come run here at the boardwalk four times a week. At Probably. Least. Yeah. Right? I would say so. Yeah, I I'd either do something around my neighborhood, but I would come here cuz it was really easy to get to and you saw people running here, the same people every often. morning. Yeah, you'd see the same and people the, walking and running every in morning. The evening. Well, hello everybody. <laughs> We're back, right? <laughs> It's been kind of a long time. Man, when's the last video we made? It's almost over a year. Unfortunately, for I our, regret For that. our Wish Upon a Run channel. <laughs> I'm trying to keep Do you cool. like the boardwalk? You've got your own personal fan. I need one of those. Whew. Well, this is a nice spot here. Yeah. With the bench and the boardwalk behind us. It's a nice day. Oh, look, they're renovating the... They're painting. Oh, they're painting the lighthouse, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So I guess it's been, what, a year since we've really made a video for Wish Upon a Run? Unfortunately. It's a long time. I regret that, but... A lot, of, a lot can happen in a, a year. A lot has happened. <laughs> a lot. Um, we haven't <laughs> stopped running. Um, we, did, uh, we did the marathon. We did, I did the wine and dine. We did the half marathon. We, mm -hmm. So. We have to rewind here. <laughs> rewind it. Right. So, as far as races are concerned, you did the return of the Wine and Dine mm -hmm. race. Yeah. And Run Disney yeah. last November. Yeah. Did the, After the Half Marathon. Yeah. And the 5K. And I did my first ever under two hours half marathon. That was like my original goal when I started running was to be able to do a half marathon in under two hours, one hour, 58 minutes. Right. It was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, it was amazing. Right, and uh, I returned to running on marathon weekend, uh, January, 2022. Just and a couple of months after Baby Harper. Yeah, it was only uh, 10 weeks actually. It's pretty and, amazing. And uh, did the half and most of the full. We can talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> we did most of the full marathon. So it's not typical for us to to not to enter a race with, um, you know, not having the obligation of thinking we're going to finish it. But we knew that, you know, we hadn't been training for a marathon. Um, but the TV station I work for still wanted us to right. do the marathon. And so they said, can you just broadcast and half film of it? it. Yeah, mm -hmm. film half of it for TV. And then you guys can just leave halfway through. And we're like, well, you know, we've been planning on doing the half marathon the day before. So we did the half marathon the day before. And then the next day we did the full marathon. And we made it about yeah. 20 miles. Adam did it for work. Miles. And so I joined him. And mm -hmm. we were supposed to be done and uh, finish with the TV station about mile 10 at Magic Kingdom. Oh, I hate to just look at, they painted the boats, they're different colors now. They the did. friendship boats. They did. Yeah, hmm. wow. They yeah, that's nice. a solid red. That's back to old school coloring. I mean, I used to work for the friendship boats, so they I know that's, nice. that's like old school coloring. Coloring, now that's nice. They look sharp. It does look actually. sharp. Yeah, that is cool. <laughs> so after, uh, you know, marathon weekend, we kind of, um, you know, we took a break. Right. I, I still ran almost every single day on the treadmill, but, um, you know, we had a new baby and you can't run every day, no. right? It just yeah. doesn't work that way. So we took, we took kind of a break and you might've seen us over at Streaming the Magic, <laughs> which is kind of been taking a lot of our time. Uh, so we've been over um, doing uh, live streaming for Streaming the Magic. Um, something Kristen said, she just told me, she's like, remember over and over again, we said, we don't do Disney live streams. We don't do normal Disney content. Theme park content. Oh, there's a runner behind us. It's 95 degrees. Way to go, you. Ooh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyway, so we're over at Streaming the Magic uh, doing um, uh, live streaming and vlogs. Uh, you know, so uh, please make sure that you check us out over there. We're going to be doing a lot of content for them. But we've also kind of made a promise to Wish Upon a Run that we want to make sure we bring back um our povs hopefully we're going to try treadmill povs for yeah. once a month and maybe a check-in kind of like this once a month too because we are getting ready for the marathon and 
I got to get back to my running weight. Right. I which is too. about another 15, 20 pounds. Yeah. And so, it's going to be a journey. Right. So I've had to take some time off, obviously due to the baby and making sure that, you know, all the kids have what they need. So I haven't been running as much. So my goal is to lose, yeah, about 15 pounds, maybe 20 pounds to get back. And I'm not trying, I know that it's gonna be really hard for me to get to my marathon pace, which I did about a five hour, my best was five hours and 10 minutes. So I'm, I know that I probably can't keep that. <laughs> She's gonna kick my butt, guys. I just wanna be able to finish. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it there. So I just, <laughs> I just would like to be able to finish the marathon um, and like to be able to get to a weight where I think I can do that. But we're also signed up for Wine and Dine. So we're gonna be doing Wine and Dine in November. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the Wine and Dine half we'll be at. And so we've got a lot of training to do. Um, oh, we forgot, we did the springtime surprise. We oh, did the we 10 did. miler and we did the Expedition Everest 5K. Both were awesome. Man, they <laughs> were so cool. That was great. So, and we were even on Run Disney's uh, photos that we were, they put Yeah, out. we were in their, um, their social media posts because we ran in climbing gear, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had a lot of fun. We haven't stopped running, although we haven't made content for Wish Upon a Run because we've been so busy with a baby and streaming the magic, uh, putting content over on that channel on all their social media. Uh, so the great thing is, is you can continue to see us there, mm -hmm. but like Adam said, our commitment- We love Run Disney too much, and yeah. we love um, all of our Wish Upon a Runner so much. And you know what, we just got another little runner. And so, um, <laughs> you know, we need to keep up the running and we're gonna get a jogging stroller and she's gonna come along. And you guys are gonna come along on our training as well, because we're hoping to include all of you in our Run Disney training at home. Um, we know a lot of you follow along with the POVs and we really wanted to make you guys yeah. all part of it here for our training for the marathon as well. Well, and we have to start now because the marathon is just a couple of short months away. So earlier today, uh, I just put a new um, treadmill belt on our treadmill at home and we have two of them now next to each other. So <laughs> as part of our training with everybody, we're going to be probably checking in on you and telling you how we run in the summer in Florida, which is on treadmills because it is just way too hot. And you know, with the baby, it's gonna be easier to be at home running on the yeah. treadmill. So um, I'll check in with you guys there and tell you how fun it was to put a new belt on a treadmill. Also, we're gonna make a video coming up very shortly about what it's like to get swept at a Run Disney race right. because we did that for the first time, kind of on purpose, but we, um, right. we would like to make a short video going over what it's like to get swept at a Run Disney race. Um, it's not embarrassment at all. It's, you know, it's fine. It's something that can happen. It's something and that we, can happen. Uh, we were actually looking forward to it, mm -hmm. to doing it at the marathon because we knew we, instead of, leaving with uh, the news station, we thought that would be a great opportunity for us to be swept and, and to talk about it. Talk about what the process is like. So we're gonna be making a short video about that, but mostly we're gonna be checking in with you guys. We're gonna try to once a month and we're gonna try and do our treadmill POV videos once a month because we know you guys love them and it helps with your training videos. So um, with that said, we're glad to be back, right, Kristen? We are glad to be back. And we're not going anywhere except we're gonna be running a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know I will be. <laughs> All right, so stick around with us and watch our journey as we get ready again for the marathon. Um, and uh, and we hope to see everybody at the Run Disney events. We hope to see everybody. So check in with us. We're gonna be at um, Wine and Dine and of course Marathon Weekend. So until then everybody, happy running and we'll see everybody so soon. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is the new Friendship three color scheme looking good. Hey, and look, Baymax there too. <laughs> here at Hollywood Studios. Oh, that's a good sharp looking boat, isn't it? Man, there, ooh, there's a storm coming in. Kristen, I think we better start heading towards the car. <laughs> that looks uh, pretty ominous. -ing. Right. Yeah, that's a big storm. Man, uh, okay. It's Florida. Well, let's get walking. Yay! <laughs>